today we're going to be looking at another aquaponic video here in Colorado and we had a busy week of disasters last week. We had leaks, we had plant issues, we have all kinds of stuff to go over so you don't make the same mistake if you're planning on doing this kind of setup. So what happened? Well, we had two different kinds of leaks. One, we had a tub break which I'm not sure why. We had only one out of five broke, so that was maybe just a defective tub. Um, that was a huge disaster. We had about 40 gallons of water all over the garage here, and um, that's why we do it here in the garage and not inside. I highly recommend not doing tubs or indoor ponds inside your house. Definitely do it somewhere where you don't mind having water, like a basement or a garage outside. Um, yeah, don't do it. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, we also had an issue I couldn't quite figure out. I actually had to go through and empty every single tub looking for more cracks since I had the first one cracked. I thought maybe some other ones had cracked and I was having a leak because every, every time I woke up there's about 3-4 inches of water in my grow tank which is probably about 10-15 gallons over the area. And so I had to take out all the rock, take out all the plants, just kind of clean them and see if there was a crack. So I checked all four tubs, not a single one of them had a crack. And that took probably two days because it was just a huge pain to dismantle and check. It was just was back breaking work, getting all those rocks out, and making sure the plants were okay in the meantime. Yeah, they're not, none of them were cracked. Uh, the issue lied in my own fault. So what happened? Well, gravity. <laughs> gravity happened. So I run all my systems on automatic timers. Some are manual, some are smart plugs that I control with my phone. Uh, the grow tent is controlled by manual, old school timers. This is the timer they are all controlled on, or my grow tent is. So basically what's connected to this is are the lights, and that's it, they're supposed to be it. However, the uh, air of the actual airflow, inline fan, and the air pump and the water pump were also connected to the timer uh, via power strip. Without, I thought that I, I switched that off the, that outlet. So what happened was every night after the 18 hours the grow tent's on, we run the grow tent for 18 hours a day between 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. The water pump was off. So what happens when a water pump turns off and it's still touching water? Well, it grab feeds down on its own. It'll stop pumping up, that suction will re reverse direction, and it'll overflow your reservoir if you don't have enough room in it. I did not have enough room in my reservoir, so it overflowed every single night, and that's what was causing my issues. To fix this problem, we simply took everything off, the besides the lights, off the timer, so it's always running, and no more issues. Tent's been super dry. Other than that, we have just been uh, replacing evaporation and we replace evaporation with the green water so it's full of nitrates and nutrients and that's going to get sucked up by all these plants. Our, so far the catnip and peppermint are already throwing down new roots, our thyme is throwing down new roots, our pearl wheat in our reservoir is growing, and our guppy grass is growing. We also have some myaka fluvic Flutatillus we threw in there, and that's growing as well. So all the plants adapted just fine. One other thing we have done is we added, uh, we had one other mistake made, which is we did not have enough lava rock in there. I always had the plants kind of uh, directly in the substrate. There's water above the substrate, essentially. What you actually need is uh, a water layer, a small dry layer, and then well, where your plants sit right above that dry layer. So the roots go through the dry layer into the wet layer, but you do need a small dry layer. So we created a very small dry layer. Because <laughs> I didn't plan around that, I should have drilled my holes a little lower. Now we don't have as much space, so we may have to get new tubs and kind of redo this. But we're gonna try and see how this works like this. Give it our best effort, see what happens. So let's take a look inside the tent. All right, so we're gonna sit here inside the tent. And you can see we have raised our water level, or our substrate level, so it is not sitting under water. Mm 
can see we put a bunch of green water in there. It's just chock full of nutrients. That's all guppy grass in there. There's our catnip, thyme in the back, peppermint on the left, and pearl weed in our reservoir tub. So essentially what was happening is this is our, uh, basically where our inflow comes from our reservoir. It comes from the reservoir via water pump up here, and then grab feeds all the way back down, except for when it was turning off at night, that was reverse feeding from the top to the bottom, and then overflowing the tent several inches. So we had to fix that by adjusting our timer. So now, the only thing on that timer here in the back, you probably won't be able to see, just back there. Only thing in the back, back there on the timer, are the lights. As you can see, our plants are doing quite good. I don't know if we're gonna see this how well, but we actually have those refresh roots that just got thrown down in the past week. By our time, which means it's doing pretty happy. It's adjusting to its new environment, and it'll grow. Thank you.